what's going on you all today we're talking about how to create virtual reality content for free so let's jump right into it vr is an amazing platform to get started on as you can have your own choices from just gaming leisure fitness social vr apps creating your own reality once again starting all over and just being able to be accustomed to all the customizations and all the features it does offer and sharing it with your family and friends and with social media and with your business and anything that you can do to help promote market yourself anything you want to utilize this type of content for it's always great to have in your arsenal so these skills are fun to learn now let's go over some more free stuff of course you want to have your quest 2 and your phone these are the easiest platforms to have i think a quest 2 would be easier it's all fully wireless and its capabilities all you need is a phone you don't need a full-on pc software any of that having your phone is fun you can utilize a uh, live action with your camera you can stream on twitch live with your camera so you could cast to your phone with your quest 2 quest 2 and your phone are some of the funnest things to have to get started immediately usually these two people have that if they're looking into vr already especially a quest 2. now choosing your streaming software which is obs or Streamlabs, these are free platforms now this allows for you to create everything just like how i'm creating this youtube video right now it allows for you to create vertical content you can change all the resolution you want from 720 1080 4k and you can also implement everything you can transition you can record offline when i say streaming software you don't necessarily need to be streaming in order to record videos hence this is how i record my youtube videos same thing what i do with my vertical tiktok content is very easy i utilize Streamlabs. you can use obs though like what i said it's your choice you would set everything your scaling your resolution all of this is free to use and there's so much scenes and transitions you can use in editing processes that all of this being free is still very much <laughs> it, it should be costly but uh, there's a lot of platforms that allow for you to do next level editing for free and then this is just one state that you can use so choose your streaming software it helps you out and being able to tack on a camera like how i'm doing right now and it allows you to show multiple screens it allows for you to overlay edit it allows for you to use everything with these types of situations so you can have all the raw formats and eventually get into the next process of editing them so speaking of editing this is one of the final things you obviously need in order to really complete your virtual reality content and in this situation we're talking about a quest 2 if you have a pc utilizing streamlabs is always the easiest way to get those video raw formats going before you get into the platforms if you don't have a pc some of the funniest things to do is you can record live action on your phone camera and you can actually record gameplay what's going on in your quest 2 you easily hit the share button on a quest 2 and you can record that media all you hit is just tap recording add enable the microphone and it record all types of gameplay that's going on so since you're going to have separate formats recording on your camera and your quest 2 all you have to do is just overlay them and time them the right way and it's very fun and some ways you can do that are in apps called CapCut. CapCut is really fun in editing transitions, editing text overlays, auto captions, and being able to have two videos in one. Also, InShot helps out. I use a feature called Pip where I put my camera action on one, and then on the bottom, I put my gameplay action. That's for the vertical content. Now, you can do this also for horizontal formats, for scaling and long format YouTube videos. But InShot, CapCut, some of the king free platforms you can use that are very, very underrated still, in my opinion. Um, um, how much they can do CapCut does really really great video editing whereas if you're like on a macbook pro utilizing those types of programs like final cut pro and all of that so CapCut is amazing InShot is the same way also it's more of a beginner and uh, you can choose all your resolutions on how you're formatting it also when you're done with exporting it so you can put 1080 4k etc these are great down the line you want your quest 2 you want your phone you want your streaming software i use Streamlabs. next you want to have InShot or CapCut. those are free platforms and last but not least you want to be able to have pictures and more marketing for your content and you can easily go to canva and they have so much pre-made templates that you can use for free whether it's youtube thumbnails you want to create or if you just want to create stuff for facebook letting people know you're going to stream letting people you're going to do anything all of these help canva is a huge base of creating your canvas so i love how they utilize it like that because what you're doing is you're creating your art form you're implementing your own insight and creativity to help with your content so when you're doing that with a quest 2 you can do all that you can create your vertical content with InShot, export it with CapCut, put auto captions on there everything that you see professional editors doing you can do this all for free and it almost looks just as great without spending a dollar now if you're going to spend the extra dollar of course you're going to get a little bit better formats but these editing softwares are all free and it's something that
something that you should not overlook a long time ago when i first started with virtual reality i used my phone to record my live action as a webcam and i also used my quest 2 internally and i would just record all my gameplay going on and i'll just overlay them on InShot. then i'll put it into CapCut and add captions with it and of course you're going to see all the examples in this video if you want to do live streaming you can also do that also i've shared a video where you can stream from your quest 2 to your phone uh just by simply casting and using the twitch mobile app which is also free so all these features are free that was going on from experimental to betas and to be able to do everything from your phone virtual reality overall the cost of getting a quest 2 eh, it, it might be an upfront cost in my opinion well worth it though because you can choose your genre after that you can choose your fitness your recreational social or just gaming in general or actual just anything business investing there's so much you can do in virtual reality and so once you choose one of the options that you want or all the options we love to talk about a lot of those options and you can eventually just use these platforms in order to edit it so that's how you create your vr content for free with these platforms i'll name these platforms under below and i appreciate y'all so much make sure you hit that thumbs up subscribe it means the world peace